Now we're going to work on the daffodils. They're going to be slightly taller than the snowdrops, so round about here. We cut them in these basic shapes and kept them until we needed them for the mosaic. But what you can do when you want to use them in your mosaic is to cut them using the nippers along there. Take the nippers and the curve of the blade will hopefully give you a nice scoop or curve. Then trim this end piece up a little to give you more shape. And it looks as if you can see more inside the trumpet. Now start placing our daffodils. Let's push these out the way to begin with. We have some glue ready. They're not much taller than the snowdrops and we have our leaves ready along with our background. It's much easier to put the flowers in first followed by the leaves. Start here by adding just enough glue for one flower head and then start adding your flower. Begin with this one. I'm adding petals around the top of the trumpet and do make sure that they're pressed down very firmly and you can move, wiggle them about a bit so that they push out the air bubbles. It's very important to get that transparency between the glass and the mirror underneath. And now some more glue for another flower head. I'm going to peel the flowers off this one individually. Uh, now this one is textured, so you're going to need to add extra glue on the underside to make sure that it fills in all the air gaps. It's up to you which side of the glass you choose, whichever one you like best. And really squeeze it down to make sure all the excess glue is pushed out. And then carry on with the rest of your petals. Always make sure the petals are pushed right down and clean out any gaps that get filled with silicone. Next flower. Have a think about where you want to place it and then get the area ready with the glue. You could make this one look as if it was under the one in front there, so you'll need to cut this piece off there. Mark it with your pen and then use the nippers to take it out. Really press down, put it in the top of this. Again, this one's going to need to be cut to fit in properly, so trim that off. And that can just slot in down the side there. And same with this one, that's going to need a fair bit of trimming, so yeah. No, that's not sitting properly. I don't know if you can see this, but that's rocking. So that means that's a textured piece of glass on the other side. It could be a piece of water glass or it could be a fold in the glass when it was made. So I'm going to turn it over, put some glue on the back and then put it back in the other way up. And it will lie flat now. Okay, last one going in. And this one could come right down here. It could even go off the side or tucked in there, I think. Use a small brush this time to get the glue right down into the little corners. It also helps stop 
spreading it on top of your coloured glass. And don't spread the glue over too big an area because it can dry very quickly in certain temperatures. So I'll just put him in there. And yes, I'll trim this down a little bit more. Pop that there. Now we need some petals in here, but there's going to be quite a lot of trimming with these to make them fit in. Up to you how many flowers you use, but I'm going to leave mine like that. I want to get this green filled in before it dries. So start having a look at your leaves, laying them in, marking them if need be, and then trimming them to fit. I'm blending two different colours for the daffodil leaves because I want them to stand out against the snowdrop ones, which are similar in shape and size. When you want to use a certain piece of glass for an area but it's too big, trace over the top using your pen and then you can trim it to fit. You might need to dip into the glue to get a bit of extra on a small piece. Now we need to fill in these small areas and I'm going to use bits I cut off from the other leaves for these areas. Using the tweezers, hold it over the top of the way you want to put it so you can see how much needs trimming off. You can always mark it with a pen if it's easier for you. Not enough glue in there, so using a small brush, just add a little bit more. And you can always put a little bit of glue on the back of the piece you want to stick down if you're not sure. You can see I'm using offcuts and small pieces to fill in the tiny gaps, and this is why it's so important to keep all your offcuts in a box ready to fill in small areas. Not enough glue where I want to put this piece, so I'm going to dip in here, tap it down to make sure there's not too much, and then place it in. This lovely lime green that I'm using has a texture on one side, so I'm trying to keep it textured side up.
I'm going to use this dark green here so that I bring in more depth and also it shows that the leaves of the other flowers behind are in the background. And don't forget to add some buds. If while you're working you think your glue is too dry, take the last few pieces out, scrape out the dry glue and discard it. Clean all your glue tools frequently and when you're cleaning off glue like this, wipe the single sided blade on a piece of kitchen tissue towel. It's the same with the brushes as you work and the same with any pick out tools. Just clean the excess silicon off as you work to stop it building up. And 
You can now add a little bit here. And for these last few pieces, you can just dip in. Make sure there's enough on the back. Too much there, so dab it down, take off the excess, and then place it. Once you've done as many daffodils as you want and filled in all your gaps, clean up the whole area, remove any pieces, any chips, scrape off the excess glue and you're ready for the next section.